Hi there, it's Adam from Kinkerome and I'm going to show you how to use the dual-way torque wrench. Before we start, the torque wrench is different to your other ratchets. It's not a tool to remove fasteners or a tool to be used like a breaker bar. The torque wrench is a precision tightening and finishing tool. The dual-way torque wrench operates in both directions to tighten left and right threads. The dual-way switch is only for reverse threads and is not to be used for undoing fasteners. The tool emits a click sound when the desired torque setting is achieved. Precision tightening is generally a manufacturer's requirement on the application and fastener being used. Using the dual-way torque wrench is easy, but it pays to understand the tool and what it's used for. I have two sizes in front of me from the dual-way style. They are both half-inch square drive. The first thing that you'll notice is that they are different lengths. The longer model has larger torque capacity due to the extra leverage. There are some important safety points to consider when using torque wrenches. Always ensure that you keep proper footing and balance at all times and do not use the wrench in places where you may fall and slip and wearing gloves can really assist with grip. Let's get into it in these simple steps. Step one, before you start, always make sure you use the correct size tool for the job. Each dual way wrench has a torque range in both newton meters and foot pounds. Consult the manufacturer's guide for the torque requirement of your job. Step two, pull down the locking collar and keep it down as you turn the handle to the correct torque number on the scale and use the fine scale to set smaller number increments. In this example, I want to set the torque number at 94 and I've turned the handle until the number 90 is reached and I'll add four by using the fine scale. Step three, release the locking collar and ensure that it clicks into place. The torque setting is now locked. The handle is secure for use and it's time to attach the required socket. Step four, gripping the torque wrench is very important and the large groove on the handle is a center guide for your hand. Step five, slowly and evenly pull the handle till you hear the click. The click indicates that the set torque has been achieved and the tool should now be removed. Never apply more torque to the fastener after the click is heard. Over torque fasteners and sockets can suddenly break, causing injury. There are several important tips regarding torque wrenches. The tool should be recalibrated every 5,000 cycles or every 12 months by an NATA approved facility. Refer to nata.com.au for more information. If your torque wrench is dropped, knocked, even in the protective case, or any part replaced, the tool must be immediately recalibrated prior to the next use. Always store your torque wrench at the lowest number setting, but not past this number. This releases the internal spring and reduces stress on the tool. Lastly, you shouldn't have to strain when tightening fasteners. If you are, you're using the wrong tool. Try a larger model. So there you have it. The Dualway Torque Wrench, a precision tool used by professionals in professional garages. For more information, please see the King Chrome website.